Thanksgiving. Ann and I are just pleased to come to you on this cold morning. It's like like 12 oh, degrees or something out there here in Minnesota. But we were literally praying this morning and talking about what can we share with our congregation, with our friends and family who are watching. And it's that story in the Gospel of Luke of those those 10 lepers. Actually, Jesus is walking to Jerusalem and there's these 10 lepers, like knowing he was coming their way, somehow they knew this, and they're begging uh, Jesus to have mercy on them and to heal them. And then Jesus basically says, well, you know, go to, go to the temple, go to the priest, and, and, and you will be healed. And that's exactly what happened. But out of those, out of those uh, 10, only one came back to thank Jesus, to be grateful. And so we don't want to be like one of the nine because Jesus answered this way. We're not ten cleansed. Well, you know, where are the nine? Uh, was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And then he said to him, rise up, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And so I just don't, you know, we just agreed. We, we don't want to be, uh, you know, like, like the nine and ungrateful. And, it, and it's... You know, it's easy to be uh, grateful when things are going well. Well, not in fact, not always. Sometimes things are going well. You can forget about why things are going well. It's because of God's blessings. But, but if things are going like super well around your Thanksgiving table, like just be thankful for like like this morning. Uh, you know, thank God for the manufactured heat and for all us Minnesotans because we were warm this morning. But there's some serious issues too going on because maybe relational loss, uh, health loss and your circumstances are coming upon you. And it's really easy at that point to be like uh, one of the nine. But we, we want to be like the one. And Anne, Anne's going to kind of speak into that a little bit. Yeah, just to have that grateful, thankful heart. And, and when we don't always feel like it, for me, some of the things that I do, again, would be to, to go to his word and just ask God to give me... Um, a picture or just help me change my attitude. And a lot of that, of course, for Thanksgiving, you always think of Psalm 100. So I just wanted to read Psalm 100 this morning in the Living Translation because it just, it just puts us in that thankful spirit. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. When we recognize just whose we are, you know, and how much he loves us. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And Dave's just done a series on uh, the 23rd Psalm, and it, it just as I read that this morning, I was thinking about what a joy it is to be, to have a good shepherd that's um, leading us in every, in every season of our life. So we enter his gates with thanksgiving and go to his, into his courts with praise. We can give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever, and his faithfulness continues to each generation. And I love how that um, psalm ends with just re helping us re remember what God is like, his unfailing love, and that his faithfulness continues not only in our lives, but when we focus on the good things that God has done for us and his faithfulness in our life, it, it can change our attitude. Um, and also um, just the promise that he'll be with not only us, but with the future generations. And so oftentimes we're praying for our kids and our grandkids, and we're, we're so thankful that God's faithfulness that he's been in our lives will continue. And so just um, this morning, we just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to all our friends and family, and uh, especially our church family. We love you, yeah. and we're so grateful that we get to do life with all of you. Yeah. And um, Dave's just going to end us now with a prayer. Yeah, Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for who you are and all the mm -hmm. blessings you've given us. May we acknowledge you all the more today on Thanksgiving. You, you just enjoy it so much when we're thankful. So we're just thankful for who you are. I just pray a blessing and favor on everyone watching this, even those going through very difficult times. May they choose to focus on you and your goodness and your grace and your truth and not all the stuff that's happening around them. That's not easy, but we can do that because you're an amazing God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Mm -hmm. You all have a great celebration day today. Remember, we're not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. Jesus won the battle on the cross. Have a great day. Bye.